Hello, welcome back to another beer review. Um, we are going to Jamaica. We are going to most probably to review their most probably their most famous beer. Um, I got a bottle of Red Stripe. There you go, super smashing great, boys and girls. Jamaica Lager beer coming in at 4.7% ABV, 300ml bottle, so quite small. They like their small bottles in. Uh, Jamaica, like uh, that Dragon Stout I did the other week. That's a small bottle as well. So Red Stripe, it's it's well, I just got some info about it. Um, it was modelled originally on an English style beer, and it didn't really go down well with the locals in Jamaica. And the only reason why this beer really took off um, internationally was the fact. In the Second World War, you had um, the American and Canadian troops staying in Jamaica, and they obviously latched onto this, and they liked it so much that they ended up, you know, being exported to America and Canada and wherever, you know, wherever else liked it. This didn't really reach the UK until the 1970s, and it didn't really go into Europe till the 1970s either. So, from our perspective, it's quite new. From over there, it's a little bit older. So it says, since 1934, Red Stripe has embodied the spirit, rhythm and pulse of Jamaica and its people. Now, it's brewed in the UK by Heineken. Um, it says, under licence from Desno and Geds, Kingston, Jamaica. Um, I don't know, I'm not too sure where I put this beer in my playlist. Where to put it under Jamaican beers, I suppose I will. Um, I had this years ago. I, don't, I can't remember much about it. I remember going to a pub, getting a pint of this, and he had a printed glasses. You know them printed glasses you get in the puzzle? look really, really nice. And um, I, used to, I went through a phase when I was young, nicking them. <laughs> Oops, I shouldn't have said that on the internet. I used to. So, <laughs> As any landlords see me going into their pubs, they're going to lock away their printed glasses, aren't they? So, there is the crown. Red stripe. See what we get. Sweet biscuitiness, um, cerealness. It smells very generic in a way. It smells like a what a lager would. That lager smell. Um, I don't really give away in the. It's come out very pale looking. There she is, boys and girls, 300 mil. Minuscule. A um, couple of drips and drabs. It looks very, very pale. Very pale. It looks. God. It doesn't look that exciting, to be honest. It's, I've just had a peels and and it looks paler than that. But. Still getting that slight hint of sourness there, that sour maltness, like a uh, cressy hint of cress, maybe. Definitely a slight lemon, more melon actually, about it. So I'm gonna go in. Cheers. Now, if you lived in Jamaica, and it's hot, the sun's out, or the current bun, if you cock me, you want to call it that, the sun's out, and, you know, it's red hot, and this would do the job. It's cold, it's wet. Now... Compared to other lagers, it's pretty bland. It's pretty boring. It's pretty, um, there's not really a lot going with it, to be honest. So I'm going to end again.
everything is, just feels flat. If I had a stethoscope, I'd be checking for its pulse because it feels as though it's dead, dead in flavour to me. It's cold, it's drinkable, and that's it with me. It's 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 now really there <laughs> to really tell you about. To be honest, and one more go. <laughs> Front end, little faint malt back end, a little faint maltness there. There's nothing there. There's, there's literally fuck all to tell you, boys and girls, about that. Fuck all. It's boring. It is absolutely fucking boring. Boys and girls, red stripe. <sighs> You fall asleep. If it, it, it just make your taste buds fall asleep. It's absolutely fucking boring. Thanks for watching this review. As always, you all stars, all of you. See you boys and girls on my next one.